I'm weather bug meteorologist Lanny Dean. In today's weather bug tip of the week, we're going to be talking all about hurricane preparedness and hurricane safety. Now, this hurricane season started on July 1, will last until November 30th. Although this season is going to be substantially different than most due to the COVID-19 issue. Are you prepared? Come along with me and let's get prepared together. How many times have you folks seen these exact same scenes play out in the recent weeks? I don't know what's in front of me. From very high storm surge levels. Right here we're in our waders. We're getting, we're actually starting to take water on inside of our waders. As you guys can see, we've got our waders on. And we're taking water inside of our waders right now, roughly. So it's, the water's coming up. To winds in excess of 70, 80, 100 mile an hour or greater. So this is my first time. I'm really hoping no one gets hurt, okay? But wow, it's just the thrill of actually capturing it on film myself, okay? Up front and personal. So I had to be here. But that thrill of capturing it up front and personal can be deadly. And the highest cause of death from a tropical system or a hurricane or typhoon, you guessed it. Massive inland flooding and storm surge. Roughly 88% of all fatalities during a hurricane or a tropical storm are directly related to flooding and storm surge. Uh, looking kind of fierce. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be milder than uh, what is anticipated, but it could get rough. Nobody really knows. But that's just it. We do know out of that 88% fatality rate, all of them were preventable. And while it may seem counterintuitive that a hurricane or a tropical storm is based upon wind speed, that's not the majority killer. The majority silent killer are those floodwaters and that storm surge. So what can you do to be better prepared this hurricane season and not become one of those statistics? I'm going to throw out five simple questions to hopefully help kickstart the preparedness thought process. If you can answer no to any of these five simple questions, chances are you're probably not prepared. Do you live in a low-lying area or possibly an area that floods easily? If so, and you had to leave due to evacuations, where would you go? Do you have a place to go? Let's talk about supplies. What kind of supplies do you have on hand? Enough food? Enough canned goods? Non-perishable? How about drinking water? Bottled water? Question number three. What about those other essential items like medication? Do you have a good quality first aid kit? If you've chosen to stay home and ride the hurricane out, do you have enough fuel for that generator? Question number four, if you had to leave, do you know where your local hurricane shelter or safety place is located? And finally, question number five, if you had to go to that local hurricane shelter and be around numerous other people, do you have enough safety supplies on hand, such as hand sanitizer, face masks, gloves. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, these PPE items such as masks and gloves are just as important as your medication is. The goal in this week's weather bug tip of the week is just to get the thought process of preparedness in your minds. Prepare now so you don't have to do it during an emergency later. And that's been your weather bug tip of the week. Everybody stay safe. Stay healthy and have a great weekend.